In this video we'll show how the absolute layout feature which was recently introduced for UX components is also available for layout table reports. So let's go here and create a, a new report. So we'll go there and create a new report and I'm going to base this report on um, uh, SQL Server Northwind and we'll choose the uh, customers table and I'll go ahead there and just uh, select all columns. So uh, this will then open up the layout table report editor and the ability to do absolute layout is available for layout table reports. So let's go here and uh, create a layout table report that has a single cell in the detail section. So I'm going to go there and uh, delete one column, delete a second column and now I have a single cell. Let's go there and uh, make that cell the full width of the report and then go down a little bit and make the cell a little bit higher. Then uh, double click on the uh, cell to specify what goes inside it and you can see that um, we now have a new option here called Absolute HTML so I'm going to go ahead now and uh, choose that and that brings up the uh, Absolute Layout Editor. So this is uh, very similar to the Absolute Layout Editor that you saw in the UX component when editing controls in an Absolute Layout container. So let's go now and specify that there's a background image for the cell. So we'll go there and uh, we'll choose our background image. Uh, so I happen to have uh, an image that we've uh, designed here called Example Form so and then go ahead now and click OK and then click OK so this is a uh, uh, an example form so typically uh, you would have a bitmap image of the form that you're trying to overlay your controls on top of and uh, so now here's the uh, image being displayed as a background for this um, cell and um, we have different uh, image sizing options so default is showing the uh, bitmap in its exact size but I'm going to go here and uh, choose the uh, cover option which is going to stretch the bitmap so that it fills the cell but it doesn't change the aspect ratio so you can see that there are several different um, options here uh, default, uh, stretch, cover and uh, contain which are all explained over here so we've now got our image uh, background and you can see here that the image is that the the cell is not big enough yet so let's click OK and click OK here and then go back now and make our cell a little bit bigger and then go back into the builder here so now we can see that it's now um, filling out uh, correctly so let's choose customer ID and place the customer ID field over there then contact name so we'll go there and choose contact name and place contact name over there then we'll go there and choose company name and place that over there uh, then we'll go to country and place country uh, over there and then finally we'll go to city and place uh, city over there and then go ahead and um, um, click OK. So now we've placed the controls on the uh, on the report and let's just go here and save this as say my report and then go ahead now and do a preview. So we can see now there's Alfki, uh, Maria Anders, so that's record one, uh, Germany, Berlin, there's record number two and then as we navigate through the, the different pages of the report we can see that the data is now printing on top of those fields. So let's go back now into the uh, into the editor and let's say for example that we'd like to print the customer ID in, um, in, in red. So we'll go back now to design mode, uh, double click on the cell to bring uh, the layout editor back, select the customer ID control there and you can turn the background off and on again just if you want to uh, get a less cluttered view and now we can go to the style of customer ID and actually set the style so let's pause now and pick this up in the next video so continuing with uh, the video on um, absolute positioning of controls in an HTML section in a layout table report we want to go now and make customer ID 
uh, into red. Uh, so we'll bring up the style editor here so you can see that this control has a style. And now we can go and define the, the CSS style for this control. So uh, we can either go here and use the builder and go here and choose uh, color or uh, well let's go here and just choose say blue and choose that color then we can go um, or we can go to text mode and define the properties there ourselves so we'll just go there and choose the color right now so you can see there's the preview and now if we save this and then us preview our report now we can see that the uh, customer IDs are now being displayed in um, in blue now um, let's go back to our report now and what we're going to do now is uh, configure the report so that the detail section can't split in the middle of a record so we just uh, right click over there on the detail section and we say properties and then we'll say keep together on page and now let's uh, save this and then preview this again and we'll switch to a smaller page size here so there's the first three records on page one there's page 2, page 3, page 4, etc. Now let's uh, basically export this data f uh, to an HTML report and if we go now to, a, a, to our HTML and then view our HTML we can see here's our HTML report and we've got um, a perfect representation of the uh, bitmap image uh, being displayed with the data on top of it. So the ability to use the same absolute layout editor in the report uh, in layout tables uh, reports uh, as you have in uh, the UX component is a powerful new addition to the report feature in Alpha Anywhere. Thanks very much for watching. In the previous video we've shown how the layout table report with the absolute position content uh, can be exported to an HTML report but just as you can export to HTML you can also export to PDF so he has the same report now export uh, uh, generated as a PDF report and you can see here that if we go here to let's just go to um, fit visible uh, actually let's uh, scale it down to uh, um, say actual size we can see that we have a PDF report over here with the same uh, image background and then the data displayed on it. So the uh, absolute layout functionality of the uh, layout table report is available in uh, PDF reporting as well as uh, HTML reporting. Thanks very much for watching.